The year is 50 before Christ, Gaul is entirely occupied by the Romans. Well, not entirely. One small village of indomitable Gauls still holds out against the invaders. Thus begins every asterisk comic on the little Celtic uh, Gallic underdog village resisting the Roman Empire. I was recently in a panel with eco-theologian, Celtic eco-theologian John Philip Newell. Uh, and it was when preparing for that evening that I realized that perhaps in our time, the old heretic Pelagius is the one to listen to. I hadn't realized that Pelagius was a, a Gallic uh, Druid kind of character with a very odd hairdo for his time. If a Christian theologian in the 300s uh, wanted to be taken seriously, he was not to look like Miraculix, the Druid uh, in Asterix. But Pelagius did, and he was not taken seriously. Newell thinks, and I think that he may be right, that many misinterpretations of Pelagius were originally caused by people reacting to the way he looked. He just didn't look like a Christian, he looked like an heretic. Uh, there is, for instance, this belief that we have no uh, writings from Pelagius, but only from his critics. And that's not true. There's also the idea that Pelagius believed that we do not need grace, that humanity has the capacity to save itself. And that's not true. He clearly taught the need for both grace and nature. But by grace, he meant something different from what we're taught via Augustine and others. Augustine, who you can see looks like a Christian, uh, he believed that grace was given to save us from our nature. Pelagius, on the other hand, taught that, that grace was what reconnected us with our nature. Uh, so divine grace uh, was not to transform us, but to make us truly natural. And this relates to his teachings uh, on the nature that surrounds us. Just as humanity is sacred, so is nature, he taught. And this is probably what made the empire ban him. He taught that nature is of God, just as grace is of God. So just as the elements of the Eucharist, the sacrament of grace, the bread and wine, are to be venerated and justly shared, so the elements of the sacrament of nature, the altar of the earth and its resources, are to be venerated and shared. Yeah.